Hello, Gemini singles. How are you guys today? I hope everyone is blessed. All right, guys, we're going to get into your reading and see if you have a new beginning. See if the angels have something new for you. When it comes to singles, I hope it's great things. Believe me, because this whole like month we've been having like crazy energy like crazy i wish to see like something great right so let's see y'all let's see what the angels have for gemini all right gemini please what you have for gemini what messages do you have for Gemini's angels? What messages do you have for Gemini's? So I'm seeing like you don't want to talk to someone, Gemini. You're like putting them on the block list. And you're serious about this. You just want to take a step back. Okay? Let's see. Wow. All right. So there's something that's going on between you, you and this person where an argument happened. Um, and this person was being very offensive, okay, about this situation. I feel like they're trying to hold back a lot of secrets, a lot of things that they don't want you to know because it's just going to make this whole situation worse. I feel like at this point, I'm getting like this person, Gemini, is like holding back their emotions and their apology because they know that once they apologize, they're actually admitting to what you do feel, right? So they're holding that back. All right, but I feel like with this apology, it will bring happiness. You know, that's all you want from this person and this person to just be truthful to you. There will be a blissful times here. I'm going to, I'm actually seeing like you're making like a decision for yourself when it comes to your future. And this is something that's, that's going to happen. One day you're just going to wake up and just decide, okay, this is what needs to occur. This is what I'm going to do. And I feel like it's about someone that you already know about. It's about a third party. Like you feel like something is going on with this person and what they're trying to hide from you, okay? It's like they're trying to say it's in your head. It's in your head. But you know it's not. And I feel like once you get to like accepting what's really going on, you're going to let go a lot of doubt, a lot of baggage, and the light is going to shine back into your life. I'm seeing the sun shining back into your life in Leo here. I'm feeling like you're really stubborn with this. Like you're just like, like people are telling you things and you're just not taking the hint. Like you're just not listening. You're not, you know what I mean? It's like you know something is off. People are trying to protect you, but you're not following your intuition. But for some reason, there will be a decision um, that you're going to do for yourself that is going to make you happy. Not what other people want you to do. When it comes to your marriage, if you guys are married, with this high front being here, okay? But I feel like you're letting go a broken heart. Like for some of you, why am I getting like you know about this third party situation? And it's like really like it's putting a toll on you. That's what I'm hearing. And then you're just letting it go. The faster you let it go, the better you off you are. That's what I'm hearing. But this person, you know, even if they do give you an, an apology, it's not going to be organic. It's not coming from a good place. It's, it's more like trying to bury what they're trying to hide here. You keep what's hidden, hidden. I'm getting Leo vibes, you guys. So some of you might be dating a Leo. Some of you might be dating your own. Gemini, Gemini. Oof. Yeah, I'm getting Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. Ooh, yeah. Aquarius, Scorpio. Of course, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Pisces in particular. That's what I'm hearing. I'm feeling like you don't want this person to know how you truly feel. You still have love for them. You know, they do make you happy. It's just this thing that's, you know, making you very unhappy. 
with them right now. But you, it's like everything else, when you look at the bigger picture, everything this person makes you happy. This is what I'm seeing. I feel like there's going to be a crossroad decision for you where you're going to have to decide what you want. Because right now I'm seeing one foot in, one foot out the door. And this person loves being around you, not to even stand up for them or anything. But they have, when they look at you, is only good vibes. Good vibes that I'm getting, okay? But this person is pissing you off. You're done with the nonsense. You're done with, you know, providing and, you know, giving this person everything and this person ain't giving you back anything. But I'm seeing some balance coming around in a Libra energy that this person is going to try to come back into your life and, you know, replace what they have took from you. But this is going to cause a lot of strength or need or this person's going to need a, a lot of strength to actually do this because I feel like this person has pride. All right. A lot of pride. And those of you who are dating a Leo. Yeah. Their pride is like overshadowing everything in this connection, all right? But I'm seeing like the angels want you to start manifesting because it is time to start manifesting. And I feel like the magician been coming up and you guys reading for such a long time. And I've been saying that like it's time to build a relationship with the universe because it's your time to find the right one for you. It's your time to open your business. It's your time to have that abundance coming into your life, over pouring into your life. And the angels want you to start manifesting, start asking specifically what you want because these things are going to prosper. These are These things need to come to pass faster. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. So I feel like, you know, this decision that you're going to have to make is going to be a, uh, a decision that I feel like it's going to be fulfilling for you. It's going to be everything that you ever wanted, but it's going to be a hard decision to make because you have to like forget about what happened in the past with this person and move forward if that's what you decide to do. Because I'm seeing like you're stuck in your mind when it comes to this person. Your mental state is everything to you. You're trying to protect yourself from any kind of breakdown, you guys, because it's just so easy. This is something that you're not used to. For some of you, I'm seeing you putting a blockage on any kind of understanding or new beginning or truth because you don't want this person to come in. You don't know if they're going to lie to you. So you're trying to block that form of action, um, new form of way with this person. You don't want any changes or you don't see any changes with this person's energy you feel like this person is going to come in and do the same thing over and over again to you so you're putting all look at this i just my goodness all right look y'all you have the sun you have the ace of wands you have the ace of swords in reverse and the ace of cups in reverse you know wow it's like you're losing all kinds of faith when it comes to this connection when it comes to rebuilding, it's like you're going to give this person a chance, but at the same time, it's like, it's just a sexual thing. It's nothing when it comes to a future thing. It's like you're seeing how things flow with this person, perhaps, um, but you don't want a new beginning with this person. This is not what I'm seeing here. You know, you're definitely lost a lot of respect for this person. And so you're like building a wall here. And there's a lot of other people that's coming in as well that might be jealous of your connection with this person and trying to make issues. So you need to make a decision based on what you want and not what the other people are telling you. And this is what I'm hearing from the angels. But I feel like you just, you don't know if you want to move on with someone else right now. It's like you're trying to just end this. It's like this is ending, okay, but I'm not ready to make to be with anyone else but this person wants to come in and really rebuild this connection with you in the tower we have Aries Scorpio energy for those of you who are dating an Aries or a Scorpio okay but we also have Scorpio right here in the death okay we also have Sag energy as well okay all right so on the back this person is definitely not going to give you up honey you know, Geminis, I'm seeing like this person is coming back to you very, very like confident, you know, playful. Um, <laughs> this person tends to make you laugh a lot. And I feel like this is the kind of thing that they're going to do, this kind of vibe here. They know like, I feel like they know they're wrong, but it's like they're going to come in and act like nothing ever happened. And this is something that you're kind of bored about. Um, because this is how this person gets you. You know what I mean? 
But I'm also feeling for those of you who are not in a relationship. This doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. This could be someone that you really cared about, um, that you had an argument with, um, being very defensive. I feel like, you know, you had to distance yourself from this person. All right. Their, their pride take over everything. This could be a family member. This could be a best friend that you had a lot of memories with. Um, you build a real relationship with, and now you're making a decision um, to move forward because this person broke your heart. This person disrespected you. This person is like you didn't see this coming from this person. You had a lot of faith from this, you know, a lot of faith within this person. Um, and you tend to do a lot of things with this person. And but some of the things that I'm getting is like was unbalanced here. Sometimes I'm getting this like on their end, on their time. Um, and now I'm seeing like this person is like you're talking to this person. And you're saying, listen. I feel like I feel like you need to listen to me or you need to, you know, go where I want to go or make plans where I want to go. Everything is about you and what you want to do and that's fine and all cuz I don't mind, but I want a relationship where we're both 50/50. And I feel like, you know, it's time. Like the angels are saying whatever you want, Gemini, it is time for you to manifest. It's time for you to build a relationship with us. It's time for you to be out there. Like I said before, if this is not a romantic relationship, this is something that is just a friendship, a family vibe, a family connection, okay? This could be a mother. This could be a father. This could be a sister. This could be a brother. This could be cousins, you know? This is someone that you really, really cared about, all right? And you're trying to find out if you want to continue to have them in your life or distance yourself from them, all right? But it's going to be a crossroad. It's going to be a decision that you have to make for yourself because you value yourself. You value your energy. But this person value you too. I mean, this person loves being around you. Um, they see you as someone that has their lives together, someone that is a go-getter, someone that is inspired, someone that is passionate. And they just want to be around that. They feel like they can be, you know, they can um, accomplish the world with you in it. You know, they feel very complete with you in it. Um, and I feel like it's like, but then it's like a cycle as well with you and this person. Cause I feel like it's not the first time here. Okay. There is some unhappy moments. There's happy moments. And I feel like there's a lot of like rebirth that happens with you and this person. All right. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to explain this because sometimes I do readings and I just do what's familiar with the love readings, but I just want to explain to you guys, since this is a singles, that this could be. Well, I'm just trying to address what it might be for those who are not in a relationship, okay? So you guys don't come for me in the comments section, period, okay? But I just feel like it's a cycle. This You and this person been through it together. You love each other. And this person wants to continue to, like, build on this relationship, even though you guys bump heads. You just don't know what to do moving forward. Um, You're kind of stuck with each other, but she's like, you're distancing, distancing yourself from each other, but again, you're being drawn to each other in the long run, but I feel like it's going to be um, healing that's necessary for you guys to even grow and to let go of a lot of things, healing, 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 you gotta heal, you gotta let go from, you know, everything that happened in your past, okay, so yeah, this person is coming back, whoever this is for you, Gemini, I hope this resonates, and I hope you like the message today, and yes, 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 be careful with the spending money, you guys. I don't see much money coming in for you um, when it comes to singles, but I'm seeing a lot of different energies, like opportunities that's coming, you know, decisions that need to be made that's going to dramatically change your life. But I feel like you need to, like, watch your money spending and how much you give people, okay? I'm seeing you giving, but not receiving. Hello? Love you guys, and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.